In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can access your PFSense firewall using the WAN IP address. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the third video related to the PFSense. In the first video, we installed PFSense. In the second one, we configured uh, the basic settings. And then in the third one, we are going to uh, make this firewall accessible uh, with the WAN IP address. So first let me show you. I tried connecting this but it doesn't show anything. So I'm just going to keep this minimize and do my settings on this one and then I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, so first of all you should know by default most of the stuff on firewall is blocked from outside. So that means you need to create a rule which will allow addresses to access just the port 80 or 443 for this um, web configurator like you won't be able to get the shell access but you will be able to get the web configurator uh, access so you will able you will be able to like modify changes or do stuff on uh, in the web okay so let's go to the interface tab first and sorry it's a bit slow and then under uh, this one I'm going to WAN and I have to do one thing what I told you in my previous video uh, so this rule is blocking uh traffic from outside for van like if i like i tried connecting uh from my computer to get into the pfsense firewall which is actually installed in the virtual machine in my computer but this is a different network even if we are in the same network but still i'm not able to connect to this firewall but i can connect it using the lan interface only and that's because the internal traffic is secure okay so the first step to enable van access is to uncheck this block private networks and loopback addresses so click save and then apply changes and then we are going to add a firewall rule okay van configurators okay Changes have been applied successfully. When you see this green uh, message, that means your settings have been applied. And the next step, step number two, is going to be uh, firewall and then rules. I'm going into the firewall and then rules. And then we are going to create a new rule. So for that, you're going to click on add. And if you add, need to add a route above this one, click on add above or down this one click this one so that's gonna be like so firewall works in this way first rule will be uh, going to be read first and then second and then fourth so if you apply uh, a, if you add a rule on the top like apply, allow everything and in the second one disable everything so it's gonna allow everything so I'm gonna disable everything so you have to understand how these rules works first thing first so i'm going to create a rule on the top because i'm just going to uh, give access to the https traffic or the http traffic of uh, this firewall only okay so under firewall rules you need to select the action pass by default is selected but if uh, something else is selected then select pass and then interface should be when because we are going to create a rule for the van and the uh, address family should be ipv4 not ipv6 and then the protocol should be tcp the next thing is going to be source under source you can specify things like if you have a public ip address where you want to connect this uh, web configurator to then you can select address alias or even the pptp client or a network and then you can define a network so only that network will be able to access the web configurator of the pfsense otherwise you will just need to leave it any as i'm doing it so it will be available for all of the networks on internet but 
only on TCP and port 443 or port 80 if you just disable uh, the SSL and then under the destination we are going to select the van address van address and then uh, the port number what I was talking about it should be uh, HTTP or HTTPS so for this one it's HTTPS because I did not disable uh, HTTPS in the configuration so I'm just going to set HTTPS and it's going to be the same one on both side from and to so HTTPS 443 HTTPS 443 so just make sure you're doing things as it is uh, what I did and if you want to make it like secure you have the source IP address then you can set a source IP address otherwise you can leave it any and then you need to click on save and then apply changes after applying this you should be able to uh, access firewall from the other network so let's just refresh this so let's try typing https and this okay now you can see so this is allowed only on port 443 so i was typing the ip address and it was trying to search on port 80 as i typed https now i'm able to access this one proceed and then type this my super secure password so you can see uh, now I'm able to access it but you see the security I cannot ping it so I cannot tell if the firewall is on or off so I can give you this task to do this on your own like how you can enable ping uh, for van on pfSense firewall and let me know if you were able to do that or if you want to know how to do that that's super simple super easy uh, you just have to watch this video completely and understand what i did in this one so you should be able to do anything uh, for your van interface or your LAN interface so rules are just easy just need to uh, be sure what exactly you are doing and what you want to do and I will see you in the next video uh, and I will try my best to get something new related to PFSense or anything else related to the Linux servers. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.